Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the second episode in my 2022 declutter series. Today we are decluttering bronzers and highlighters, so let's get into it. Ignore my hair and my lack of makeup. I just threw on a couple shades of my Panthos eyeshadow shades because I literally just got home from the airport two hours ago. I was on a plane. I was up at 3 a.m. I am exhausted, but this room is disgusting. I actually have a video coming out soon where I'm going to be reorganizing my beauty space and cleaning it and all that, um, but I really wanted to get another declutter episode out. Everyone seemed to love my face product declutter, so I really wanted to get something else in there. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what my drawers are looking like currently, and then we'll go ahead and do the declutter. If you clicked on this video expecting a huge declutter, getting rid of like 90% of my makeup, that is not me. I love makeup, I love collecting makeup. I'm honestly just doing my yearly pick through and picking out things that no longer interest me, that just don't work for me things like that. So it's not going to be an extreme declutter. I'm going to do the best I can, um, but I'm not going to force myself to get rid of like everything I own. This is my highlight drawer. It is very full. I need to get some stuff out of here because this is just too much. And then right above it is my bronzer drawer. So I'm going to be leaving out my blushes. Blushes is going to be its own separate video later on, um, but this is just all my bronzers. Okay, starting out with bronzers. This one I know I'm gonna get rid of. This is the Hula Light. And this one I used a lot a couple years ago. I don't even know, my nails are so long, I can't even swatch. This is just too light of a bronzer for me. I am very fair, but this is just too light for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. The Hula I'm undecided on still. I do have a pretty big dip in this bronzer. I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile for now. I'm very picky about my bronzers, so maybe pile. I am of course keeping my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade two medium, and this is one of my Holy Grail bronzers that is not going anywhere. Same with my Marc Jacobs. This is the Omega bronze in Tantastic. I don't think they have this anymore. Marc Jacobs uh, kind of dissolved their cosmetic line, but this was a really good bronzer and one of my favorites, so I am going to keep this one. My Kat Von D Shade and Light, I think it's now rebranded to KVD Beauty. This one I actually really like. I like the yellow in here for brightening under my eyes. I also like this brightening shade, and I use all of the contour shades, mainly this one, um, but I am going to keep this one as well. One I think I'm ready to pass on is this. It is the Mac and Jeremy Scott Cheeky Volume 1 Mixtape, and this is a face palette. It has a highlight, blush, and bronzer, and it has like the shades in there, and I got this when it came out. And at the time, I was very big into collecting MAC products, but I've slowly started kind of branching out and getting rid of my collection. And as much as I like the idea of this, like the CD, these shades are like so basic. And I feel like it's nothing special in my collection and I can't even remember the last time I used this. So I'm going to pass this one along as well. This is from Smashbox. It is the Ablaze Face Palette. This is beautiful. I actually really like this one. Um, the highlight shades are a little dark for me, so I don't really use those, but I do really like the bronzer and blush shades in here, and for that reason, I'm going to keep this one. I have the Sir John and Luminous Cosmetics Lion King Contour Palette. I obviously am too fair to use a lot of these. I primarily use this one down here um, and this one. These four I don't really use much. I'm thinking I want to branch out and try them as eyeshadows. I do really like the packaging and the idea, and I feel like it's such a waste to hold on to when I can't even use four of the shades. I think I'm going to keep it for now, and if I haven't used the other bronzer shades as eyeshadow by my next declutter next year, I will pass this one on as well. I just purchased this one. Uh, this is from One Size Beauty. It is the Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Contour Sculpt. The, the trio of bronzer contour shades. This is in the light, and I actually really like this one. This middle one is beautiful. And then I also really like this top one as well. I feel like they're just, they look so nice on my skin. Like, I love these. So 
I am going to keep this. It is new and I love it. Go ahead and pull these big guys over. I'm starting to see things that I wasn't planning on decluttering that I think I'm ready to declutter. It's very weird. Starting off, I have, um, this is my Patrick Star and MAC bronzer. This is uh, actually a highlight, but it is too dark for me, and I use it sometimes in the summer as kind of like a glowy bronze topper. I do like it, so I am going to keep it. I'm also going to keep my Too Faced Cocoa Contour. I haven't used it all that much, and I've had this one for a while, but I do remember liking it, and my idea is by getting rid of some of this stuff, I'll be more tempted to pull this out again. Okay, so first up we have, this right here is my Rare Beauty, this right here is my Rare Beauty bronzer stick and it is in the shade Happy Soul. This is literally one of the best bronzers I've ever used. It just looks so natural on the skin, like it just looks so glowy and dewy and I love this, so I'm keeping this one. Okay, now we're getting into the difficult ones. I'm like trying to figure out where I want to start. I have two from ABH here. This is the powder bronzer in Tawny. I do like this one. I'm going to keep that. And then I also have my contour stick. I believe this is in the shade Fawn. Yeah, so this is really nice. I like to use this one underneath bronzers. So I'm going to keep this one. Let me zoom you out and see if you can see a little more. Let me zoom you out and see if you can see a little bit more. There we go. That's a little better. Um, let's see. This one by Patrick Star and Mac, the Give Me Life bronzer. Ooh, I thought I was going to get rid of this, but actually I kind of like this. Ugh, bronzers get me. Okay, I kind of like that actually. I think I'm going to keep this one. Um, ugh choices. I do want to keep my Fenty's for sure. This is the Shady Biz bronzer, uh, the powder bronzer. I love this one. And this is Butter Biscuit, which is the cream version of that highlighter. It has a lot of dog hair in it. So ignore that. Uh, I have a very shedding dog. Um, Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. I'm actually really close to hitting pan on this. I think you can kind of see the swirls in there. And I think I want to try and hit pan on this. So I'm going to keep that um, this one I remember liking. This is the Beijing Beauty. This came out, I want to say two summers ago, and this is such a pretty bronzer. I'm going to keep this one for sure. These two I'm still thinking on, so give me a second to get over there. This one I thought I was going to keep, but again, I can't remember the last time I reached for this. This is the Kylie Bronzer in Khaki. I can't even open it. Okay. I have at this point decluttered the majority of my Kylie cosmetics and this one, while I remember liking it, I also remember it not being super pigmented and that's just not my vibe anymore. So I think I am going to get rid of this. My Too Faced, this is my Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I'm going to keep this one. This one is beautiful. And then I also have the regular chocolate Soleil. Let me let me swatch these actually, because I think I might actually get rid of this one. So this is the milk chocolate right here, very pretty. And then let me go ahead and swatch the actual chocolate. I'm running out of fingers. Um, this one reminds me a lot of Tawny by ABH, so I think I might actually get rid of this one. I've had it for a while, and it's got to have been, it's, it has to have been at least a couple years since I've used this. So I'm going to keep the milk chocolate, pass along the regular chocolate. This is the Snow Bunny. This is one of my favorite bronzers ever, and I can't believe it's discontinued. So for that reason, I'm going to keep this one from Wet n Wild, it is from a dragon collection, question mark. Uh, you're dragging me down. I remember using this and I didn't love the shade on me. I felt like, I felt like it was too dark. I love the embossing, but 
that's no reason for me to keep it. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This one is in the shade 310. This is uh, the ColourPop, and I think it's Becky G collab. Yeah, this is one of her, I think her first collab or like one of the older ones. I, uh, whew, I don't know. Actually, I kind of like that. Ugh, bronzers literally will be the death of me. I think I'm gonna keep it. Mm, maybe, maybe actually, maybe. The Unicorn Tears Bronzer by Too Faced. I'm going to keep this just because nostalgia, I got it while I was working at Ulta, and it makes me think of that. And then I have the MAC Alea Bronzer and the MAC Matte Bronze. Okay, let me actually, let me pull these out because I feel like all three of these are pretty, okay, actually, never mind. They're kind of different. This one has a little bit of glow, and I like it for the summer. Let me pull up Beijing Beauty. I think I'm going to keep all of my MAC bronzers for now. I know I want to keep Beijing Beauty. I'm debating on these. I can always go through at the end. Let's go ahead and hop over to highlighters and I'll come back to these at the end because I feel like... I don't need all three, but I, I want to think on it still. So let me move those off to the side and let's go ahead and put these guys back in. go here is what the bronzers are looking like so far I am going to go ahead and put these back in the drawer and then pull out my highlighters I've pulled out the mega stash of highlighters. I didn't realize how many highlights I had until I'm actually looking at them all. I have kind of gone through and picked through. I got rid of two loose highlighters already. They're up on my Poshmark. Um, I got rid of one that's from the Morphe Coca-Cola collection and one that I think is from a brand called Artist Couture, possibly. I can't remember the name, but those are already taken out. These are the ones I have left in the collection. So let's do it. Starting off, I know I want to get rid of the Dandelion Twinkle by Benefit. There's nothing wrong with it, but I've used it maybe twice, and it's just not really my thing. So I'm going to pass that one along. I have three from Ofra. I don't want to get rid of any of these. I love these. This one is Rodeo Drive. This one is Start Inspired in collaboration with my girl Samantha March. This one is Start Inspired in collaboration with the one and only Miss Samantha March. So I'm keeping that one. I love her. And then I also have Glazed Donut, which I believe is in collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. So all three of my Ofra highlighters are staying in the drawer. Another big one I want to get out of the way just because it's taking up so much space. This is from Jeffree Star and this is the, I think it's the, oh, it doesn't say. The Extreme Frost in Lick My Glit. And honestly, this is like one of my favorite highlighters ever. Like, look at that. It's so punchy and beautiful. It's the perfect like pinky purple. So I am keeping this one as well. I keep it in this because I just think it's pretty, so keeping
I have some Super Shock highlighters. I know I want to keep Flexitarian. Flexitarian is one of my all-time favorites. I actually just took this out of town with me, and I love it. It's so beautiful. It gives you such a glowy, dewy finish, so I'm for sure keeping Flexitarian. I have this one, which is Double Down, and I... I don't know how I feel about this one. Actually, that's really pretty. Maybe I will keep that. I think I'm going to keep this one as well. So this one is going to stay. I think I might just end up keeping all of my Super Shocks. So this one is A Smile and a Song. These were in collaboration with the Disney Princesses a few years ago. And this one is On the Cusp, which is in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And I love the Super Shock formula. So for now, I'm just going to say I'm going to keep all of these. Pixie and Aspen Ovard. I love Aspen Ovard. This is in the shade Santorini Sunset. I watched her a lot when I was growing up, but honestly, I don't really keep up with her anymore. And I can't remember this being a super great highlight. I felt like it was really streaky on me. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Crystal High from the Crystal Collection. It's kind of like a super shock formula. It's very similar to Flexitarian, so I am going to keep this one. This is the Smashbox and Vlada Petal Metal Highlighter in the shade Gilded Rose. This one is gorgeous. Like, I'm going to keep this just for how it looks. This is beautiful. So this one is staying. I have two glow kits by Anastasia. The first one is the Sugar Glow Kit. I actually really like this one, so I am going to keep this one. But this is the one in Sun Dipped. I... This was one of my first makeup items ever, so that's why I'm kind of like on the fence. This and this one are way too dark for me. I think I might depot these two and put them in a single palette and then get rid of these two because I don't feel like I need to keep this whole thing when I won't even use two of the shades. So I'm going to depot these two and get rid of the other two. This is from the Pink Religion Collection by Jeffree Star. I reviewed this one on my channel and I'm obsessed with this. I reach into this palette all the time. I use this one as like a blush topper. This I use for more of a natural highlight and this one's more of that wet glittery highlight. So I am going to keep this one. I do really like this one. Um, I have this one I think I'm going to get rid of. This is the 8S, the High Impact Palette, Stellar Impact. So I got this for the holidays a few years ago, and I feel like the only shade that really speaks to me is Ultraviolet. It is a really pretty bluey purple highlighter, but I have other purple highlights in my collection, so I don't feel like it's necessary for me to keep this for one highlighter. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. The Morphe... The Morphe Bretman Rock Babe Paradise Palette. I do actually really like at least three out of the six shades in here very much. So I'm going to keep this one for now. This one is so pretty. It's like this pinky reflect. I'm running out of arm space, but I'm going to keep this one. I have these from ColourPop. This one came broken. It is the shade Manifest That. And this one is also apparently the shade Manifest That, but one of them is not actually Manifest That. I really like both of these. And then this one is from Soul Body. I actually use this as a blush, so I'm not sure why it's in here, but I'm keeping this one as well. I use this as a blush though. Okay, next up we have this one from Dose of Colors. This is the Desi and Katie highlighter in shade Fuego. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't use it. The packaging is gorgeous, but I don't need to keep things for the packaging. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And then I also have the I Love Sarah E. Dose of Colors Soulmate highlighter. This one I actually remember. Oh, shoot. I just like dug my nail into that. This one I remember really liking. 
but it's just darker than I would normally pick for myself. So I'm going to pass this one along as well. My Fenty Beauty, how many carrots? This I think is like the Diamond Bomb. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the Diamond Bomb. I like this one, especially over Glazed Donut by Ofra. This one is my Skin Frost in Ice Cold by Jeffree Star. And I actually think I'm going to get rid of this one. I have other white highlights that I like a little bit more. I don't care for this formula as much as I like the Extreme Frost or even the Supreme Frost. So I'm going to get rid of this one. That's odd. I'm gradually moving things over so we have stuff to look at. Um, Cookie by Benefit. This one is relatively new. I got this one, I want to say like six months ago, and I really like it. So I'm going to keep this one. This one from MAC. This is Silver Dusk. I would like to keep at least one loose highlighter. I can't even remember the last time I used Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Keeping. Keeping, keeping, keeping. This one I think I'm going to get rid of. This is the ColourPop Land Queen Frostine Pixie Puff Highlighter. It still has the tape on it. And I remember picking this up for the collection, like to collect it, uh, with some of the other pieces in the collection. And honestly, I haven't used it. This collection came out, what, like two years ago? I, I don't even know what this looks like. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Moon Chaser by Kaleidos. Kaleidos, how do we say that? This is a pretty really, this is a really pretty purpley blue shift. I'm going to keep this one. This kind of replaces that shade I liked in the Morphe palette. And now we have a ton of things. So MAC Light Scapade, one of my all-time favorite holy grails. This is not going anywhere. I use this all the time for just a very subtle glow. This is Double Gleam, one of the few MAC highlighters I feel like that actually looks good on my skin tone. I'm so pasty white. I'm gonna keep this one. This one I'm gonna get rid of. This is the MAC and Patrick Star Hot and Heavy highlighter. This is too dark for me. I went through a phase where I would buy things like to collect without them really working on my skin tone. So I'm gonna get rid of this. This one is from the holiday collection, like 2018. This is Oh Darling. I think I liked this one when I tried it last. It's just a gold, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm gonna keep this one. My Mac Aladdin. This one I think is gonna stay in as well. Here we go. This is uh, a Supreme Frost. So the other one I showed you is an Extreme Frost. The one I got rid of was this, uh, just a Skin Frost. And this is a Supreme Frost. So these are really, really pretty. Pinky purple tones are just so pretty in highlighter form. So I'm keeping this one. And then I'm, of course, keeping my Anastasia Amrezy. She is very loved. And my Anastasia Iced Out. Not as loved, but I'm going to keep it because I like a good light highlighter. So let me go ahead and put these guys back in. This is the other tin. This one has more of like my affordable highlighters. Of course, my collection has no cohesiveness whatsoever. Um, this is the this is the Morphe and Maddie Ziegler Dew Balm. I, I don't think it's considered a highlight technically. It's more of like a dewy thing. I really only like this on like no makeup makeup days, but I keep it in here. I'm going to keep this. I don't have anything else like that, so I feel like it'd be interesting to hang on to. I also have these two from ColourPop. This is from the Y2K collection. We have Still Loading and You Got Mail. This one I use primarily as a blush, so I think I'm going to move that into my blush drawer. And this one I also feel like I use as blush. This is more purpley. I might actually just keep these in this drawer then. My blush drawer is a nightmare, so I don't want to open that just yet. 
These two I've actually been thinking about all day. They are very similar. This one is the uh, Lilac Geode by Becca. I don't think Becca's a thing anymore. And this one is from Maybelline. This is the Chrome Highlight in Knockout. It is in collaboration with Puma. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I kept this for a while. I think it's time. I'm gonna get rid of this. The Becca one, I'm not sure. I haven't used this in several years, but it is really pretty. It's like a pink. You can see that. This I'm gonna put in the maybe pile with the bronzers because I'm an indecisive hoe. This is the Fenty Beauty Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal uh, Kilowatt Highlighter Duo. I love this one. These are gorgeous. This one is the perfect subtle highlight. This one is that perfect glowy highlight. Keeping that one. This is from the Disney ColourPop and... This is the ColourPop Disney Villains Ursula Poor Unfortunate Souls. This one is purple. I love a good purple highlight, so keeping, of course. And then these two, I, I think I'm at a point where I'm going to get rid of both of these. These are from Wet n Wild. This is Winter Falls in LA and Halo Walkers. So we have a blue and this really pretty white with kind of a blue shift. But this Kaleidos highlighter, I feel like is good enough. I feel like I, I have what I want in this and I don't need these. So I'm going to get rid of these. We have two left. This is from Kylie Cosmetics. It is in the shade Go Ghost. This is really interesting. It's kind of like a goldy green white reflect. So I'm gonna keep this one. And then I also have this, which is a loose highlighter from ABH in Snowflake. This was part of the holiday stuff a few years back. And I don't use loose highlighters all that often, but I do really like them when I do. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. Let's pull back our maybes. Realistically, I don't know when I'm going to use this. I feel like I've been hanging on to it because it's such a part of history. Like Becca was so big back in like 2017, 2018. So I feel like I'm hanging on to it, but I also prefer um, like my Jeffree Star pink highlights, uh, even my Fenty Kilowatt kind of pink. So as much as I feel like I don't want to get rid of this, I think it's time. I think it's time. I'm going to get rid of it. Now we are down to bronzers. I have 310. Hula. Hula is so iconic. I don't think I can get rid of Hula. And then we have my matte ones. See, the problem is, is I feel like they're all so different. <laughs> I feel like they're all so different. Okay, I'm going to start by swatching. This is the Patrick Star highlight. This is a lot more subtle than I remember it being. This is the... This is the Alea bronzer, a lot lighter. This one is matte bronze. Matte bronze does not swatch well. It is not that creamy. So, I 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to keep the ColourPop Becky G. I do remember using that and liking it. The Hula. I think I'm going to keep the Hula because I want to try and pan it. So it's really just down to these three MAC ones. I feel like I don't need all of them. But I also feel like I got rid of a lot. And I feel like I can afford to keep these. See, I really like the packaging of this one. So I'm wondering if there's a way to depot these and move this one into this one. And then I can get rid of this because honestly, this one is not, this one is not swatching good. I like the packaging, but it's not swatching good. So I'm going to get rid of at least the bronzer. I'm going to try and keep the packaging and move one of these in here, but I think I'm going to keep these two because these I think are a little more up my alley. It's what the final bronzer drawer is looking like much better. And if I go ahead and close this one. Look at the highlighter drawer. I felt like I was gonna get rid of some, but I feel like I really did good in the highlighter section. Look at these empty spaces. I have room back here. I did really good. I'm really proud of myself on this drawer. And of course, here is the overview of everything I decluttered out of those drawers. I feel like I have a lot more space. It wasn't the most cutthroat declutter, but I'm pretty proud of how much stuff I was able to clean out and how I was able to get it broken down. That's all for today's declutter, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I will link my face product declutter down below. If you haven't seen that one already, I highly suggest you go and see that one as well. And with that, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, friends.